Hi, this is Tilak. Welcome back to our Padmula tutorial, session two. Today, in this session, we are going to talk about formula components. Okay. We are going to just introduce the component. We are going to talk in detail. Even if you don't understand now, that is fine. By end of this tutorial, you know what it does, how it can be used, and the whole operation of the components you understand. The first formula component is formula type. It is nothing but a group of formula, I mean, category of formula. You cannot create a formula without using type. And you cannot use a formula without knowing the type. The reason is the field or the column that uses the formula type to restrict the selection of the formula. So you have to know the formula type. The context, we'll come to the context. Context is nothing but a, a parameter value passed to the formula. They are predefined. They are predefined along with the formula types. When they create a formula type, the context also defined. So if you know the formula type, you know what are possible context, possible parameter you will receive from the formula when you are writing the formula. The input value, input value also parameter values, which is a little different, different than a context. The input values are not predefined, which is basically additional information passed to the formula while executing the formula. Basically the developer defines the information. What are the additional information? He wants to pass it to that formula. That is what the input values are. Since they are not predefined, they are not available in the table or anything. This is only available in the document. So you have to go through the document to understand what are the additional values. You are getting it in the formula and how you can use it. Database item. They are basically, a, you can treat them like a global variables or predefined variables that hold the values. Person first name, last name, full name. These are the database item names, which is available. These are the kind of variables which hold this first name, last name. And the one database item can hold one value or a type of value in the arrays. There will be multiple values, but the same type of values are available in the array. There are two types of database items, arrays, range, we call it range, or other one is that, of that single values. Okay. This database item, which value is defined by the context values? Uh, for example, if you know the first name, whose first name? Okay, that is the context tell you whose first name is. The context passed as a person ID is passed in. So the, 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 the person ID determines the name of that person. So that is the database items. That's what it is. The route. The route is source of the database items. Route is like, you know, you can call it as a the table or a kind of a, a select statement or a source. This is the route is. Basically, database item is part of the route. For example, the database item says where the, the data, the, sorry, the route says where the database item is coming from. So person table or person name table. Now the, the context restricts the routes. Basically context is kind of a where conditions values. So you say that a first name comes from a person name table where the person ID is equal to context value. That is the, the person ID context. So this is how it works. A database item is a person name. That comes from a person name table. 
for a person whose information is passed through the context. This is how that context database items on the routes works. Okay. Now the functions. There are two types of functions. One is basically seeded or the Oracle predefined the functions. The other ones user can create. To create a function, you need access to the database, which is not available. Okay. That database access is not available in cloud. So in a cloud, you can only use the functions, which is given by Oracle. You cannot create your own function. It's a local deployment or the EBS world. The customer can create their own functions. Then you go to, go to the functions uh, definition table, they can link the function. So in this tutorial, we see only that the predefined function by Oracle. User entities, we aren't going to look into the very detail. Basically, that is a grouping of a grouping of database item which is used in extract. So we are not going to look into the detail. Finally, we come to variable. Variables are part of component. But still, I'm putting that into the variable because you have to understand the variable to create a formula. Okay, the return variable, you have to understand the return variable to create a formula. Now what happened? There are three ways I can define that. One is there are certain formula doesn't care what variable is, what name of the variable which is coming. They all we care about values. Whenever there's a single value coming out of pass formula, especially you are say yes, no, or y, or n, or a single value comes out of it, most of the formula does not care what values coming out of it. They just like take which are values coming in, they use it. But there are some formula, I don't know what's the reason, but they care about the value of the variable, for example. The benefit eligibility formula use the variable called eligible in capitals. All the value, that variable has to be in eligible, I think eligible or eligible, eligible I think. They has to be in a capitals. And then the value, the value could be either y or n, but the, the variable is very important. So if you are passing any other variable names, though the value is right value, no, that is going to throw the error or it is going to behave in a default way. The third part, the third kind of is, whenever there's a more than one values coming out of it, for example, total compensation statement, where you are passing the date, value, person ID, assignment ID, or, um, legal employer. The four information is, can be passed. Okay, these four information can, can be passed in any order. So all it care about is the variable. It has got a specific variable name holds the date, the specific variable name holds the value, specific variable name that is holds the assignment ID. So in this case, you have to know which variable. Okay. This is not exactly from an engine. Engine does not care about all these things. The, like the way input value, the engine does not care. All it cares is what you have written something. Now, this is also you will learn from document only. So the document says what exactly they want it back. Okay, in some cases, they don't care about variable name. For example, return of the date, but they probably look for a particular format. Most of the time the dates are written as a yyyy slash mm slash dd format. So they tell you what they want, how they want it. This is also you can learn from the document. Okay. This is all about the component today. Uh, next session, we look at the components in detail. Thank you.